Hello and welcome to this photo speed video on photo cards and how we go about printing those photo cards as well. Now Sam has done an amazing video on our YouTube channel about these photo cards a little bit more in depth and basically what the photo cards are. I'll tell you briefly about them. Now they are pre-scored versions of our papers and they come in three different sizes. They come in an A5 size, an A6 size, a square 5x5 five five inch size and also what we call an I3 which is a panoramic which is just this one here. Now like I said they come pre-scored and they also come with envelopes as well and they come in packs of 20 or 25 depending on the paper types. Now we've got templates on our website for each of these as well and I'll go through how to use these templates in a minute and take you through how we print these cards. Now they're a really great product if you wanted to print your own greetings cards, say for Christmas or birthdays, etc., anniversaries, whatever occasion you would want. And they are really pre-packaged and you just drop the pictures in and hopefully you can get some nice pictures like the ones behind me. Okay, so let's go onto the website and I'll show you where we can download the templates from. And then also we'll have a look at how we use these templates and how we could set up these templates also in Lightroom as well. Okay, so let's go into the computer and we'll get started. Okay, so let's have a look at where we find the templates on the website. So on our website, if you just in the search bar tap in photo cards, then all the options should come up. So with different paper types in here, but if I just click all departments, what will happen then it will just load up all the papers that we do in a photo card. So I'm just gonna click on one of these because we just need to click on the photo card download, which is at the bottom of each one of the papers we do in photo cards. You'll see them here on our website. If I just click all the way down and click on product attachments, then in here, you will see the text sheet for the paper, the media types for all the printers as well, but also underneath photo card printing templates. If we just click this one, it will then start the download for us. Okay, so now we have the templates downloaded. They're probably located in our downloads folder under the photo cards. I've just put them on my desktop here, just drag them out of my downloads folder into my desktop here. Now I'm on a Mac, but it will be the same for a PC as well. It will more than likely put them in your downloads folder. And when you do click on it, you should be able to specify where you'd like the uh, where you'd like the templates to be saved. But once we've opened up the file that we've downloaded, we will see we have a selection of templates in here, each for the type of card we have. So here we have the A6 card, and then we have A5, and the 5x5 five five template, and the I3 template here. Let me just open up the A5 template, which is this one here. I'm just going to double click on it and it will open in Photoshop for me. Now you will notice on I've put some markings in here for you to just help. But the main two things is this template is made up of two layers. And if you look in the layers panel, just down the bottom here, you will see that I have the top layer which is place your image in between layers. This is the top and we've got a bottom layer here. So we've got to put our image in between these two layers and the top layer will mask out this bottom part of the picture. Now you'll also notice that the image does have to be upside down. So we have the bottom of the image marked with the arrows at the top and then the top of the image. Now this is if the image is a landscape. If it was a portrait image, we would have the bottom of the image on the right hand side and the top of the image on the left hand side. So let's put in a picture here and then I will show you how I go about just rearranging it in this card. I have a picture of some flowers here, a nice black and white. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my move tool, which is the very top tool here. And then I'm just going to drag by just holding, holding and dragging just up to the template tab at the top here. And then moving down so I'm over the image, over the actual template here. And then I can just release my finger and it drops the image in for me. So I've copied this image in now. But as you'll notice, it's not really masking out or anything here. And if I go back to my layers tab, I'll see I've got my picture layer here, this layer one. Now, what I need to do is just drag this layer in between my top image and bottom. And now you'll see that image is being masked out. But it's still not quite right because we just need to resize it. So I'm just going to drag in my uh, points, my corner points here, just so I can make it nice there. But also it's the wrong way up. If I print this and we fold the card, the picture will be upside down. So what I need to do is just go to edit and then to transform. And then I'm just going to rotate 180 degrees. So now we are the right way up. And now I can just reposition my picture to my liking within the frame there. And there we have one picture set up. Now all that's left to do is to go to file and print in here. Now what we need to do is just go into print settings because I do need to set the paper size to A4 borderless. And that will give us our lovely picture here and our borderless print here. The other things you need to do is you just need to set your color management as well. So the profile you're going to be using just as, as you would normally. And also in print settings, we would need to set our quality of media or our media options in here as you would normally do for that paper type. And then all that's left to do is to click print. Now this process is the same for each of the templates. So if we had the i3 template, say, coming into our software, let me just open that one up, which is this one here. We would then take a picture and we could just pop it in. But we can start to have a little bit of fun with these. So if we wanted to put, say, this picture here on an i3, just to see how it would look, I'm just going to close that template down there. So we've got the i3 template here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this picture in by using the move tool again. So just click and hold and then just drag up over to the tab and then just drop it in. And what we can do is we can actually then start to just see how it would look. So I'm just going to make this nice and small here, make it a little bit. Okay, so then we'd have a very oblong type of card there. Now with the i3 templates, we would just, if we wanted to print this one, we would take it to uh, the print, so just file print, and then the paper size we'd need to select would be A5. So let's talk though, about the five by five template. Let me just open that one up here. So I've just opened up the five by five template and you'll notice it is five, five inches on the width and then 10 inches on the length here. And it's exactly the same process to pop in a picture. So let's just use the same picture here. I just drag and drop that one in using the move tool and that will drop it in. And actually it's put it in between the layers here for me, which is fantastic. And then I'm just gonna rotate this so that we can get that picture on its side a little bit more like that. You notice it's absolutely huge here. So I'm just going to adjust the size here just so it's quite nice in there. There we are. Okay, now we do have to do something else when we're coming to print this. So if I go into file and print, we do have to set up 
a custom size for this to be able to print. So we need a page that's gonna be five inches by 10 inches to be able to do this. So what I need to do, I just go into my custom, manage custom sizes here, or user defaults if you're on a PC, or user defined, sorry, or user defined if you're on a PC. And I'm just gonna set up a paper size that's called five by five photo cards in here. And I'm gonna set the width of the paper to 127 millimeters, which is five inches, and 254 millimeters, which is 10 inches. And then I'm just gonna click okay. And now I've got that size set. Again, just come in and set up our quality of media as we normally would. So we just set up our quality of media like we normally would. And then we have our card set up here. Now I should add that if you will have to check if your printer can print borderless on these sizes. The A4 size, it normally does borderless, absolutely no problem at all. I'm on the Pro 1000 here and it will not print A5 borderless. So I will have to have a very slight border around. And that is why when you look at the template, as you'll see here, let me just click out of this. You'll see there is a very slight border. I have allowed for the printer's printable margins in here. It should roughly be right, but you may need to just tweak these templates very slightly depending on your printer. I've kind of tried to go in between the Epson and the Canon range for the printable margins and things. But when you are printing on 5x5, A6, and the i3 cards, you will have to have a very slight board around there. So let's give these a print and then we'll have a look at them. Okay, so hopefully, once we've put our pictures into the templates and got them all printed, we should start to have some really nice photo cards coming off the printer. Now, what I would say is those templates are there to act as a guide. They are designed, say, on my printer here, and I print them off and they fit really nicely. Each printer does have its own little kind of quirk, should I say, with its printable margins and the area it prints. So the best thing to do is to get the templates, perhaps use just a plain sheet. Perhaps the best thing to do is use this plain sheet of A4 to start with instead of the nice photo cards and just run some tests to see how they look and if they're lining up correctly in there. Like I said, the templates should get you really close. I mean, they should get you 98% of the way there. There may just be those little tweaks you need to make with the positioning and things on, on the actual page. So the best thing to do is just run a test for it. So I hope that's been useful and I hope it allows you to print some really nice photo cards off as well. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our videos and I will see you next time. Thanks then, bye bye.